What's a word for a person being fed on by a blood-sucking animal? I am looking for a word that means the one being fed on by an animal. For example, if a mosquito or leech is sucking someone's blood, what is the best word for this person? Sucky? Victim? Prey? The context is that I'm writing a script for a fantasy series I'm working on. I have a beetle that sucks blood and grants its prey, good luck as it feeds on their blood. I'm looking for a better word to replace prey. Host would be the most correct term biologically, though it's more often associated with long-term parasites guests that actually live in or on the host. If you want to avoid the long-term connotations, you could say the bitten one, the person who was bitten, or other phrasings, e.g., it gives good luck to those it bites. Wordy, but natural. Host, common in biological, ecological descriptions. Use if you want to be more technical. Most often used for long-term parasites guests, botflies, tapeworms, mites, you could clarify by saying short-term hosts. Prey, common in biological, ecological descriptions. Use if you want to be technical, you could clarify that the prey survives. Implies death. Victim, implies malice, negative connotation, does not imply death. Might be used by someone with a loathing of the parasite. I definitely consider myself a victim of mosquitoes. From the perspective of a biologist. This is not an example of a predator-slash-prey relationship. By definition, a predator kills its prey. If the person whose blood is being taken generally lives, they are not prey and the mosquito, leech, or what have you is not a predator. A normal bloodsucker and the thing it feeds on is a parasite-slash-host relationship. By definition, a parasite generally doesn't kill its host. If you wanted to specify further, you would say it is an ectoparasite, because it lives and does its feeding outside the host, as opposed to, say, a tapeworm. A normal bloodsucker and its host are not in a symbiotic relationship. Symbiosis literally means, live with and is reserved for long-term physically proximate relationships. If the leech feeds for a while, drops off, and never encounters this particular host again, that is not a persistent enough interaction to count as symbiosis. However, in your fantasy work, the blood feeder is granting its host luck. If the benefit of the luck is greater than the cost of the blood, then the blood feeder is no longer a parasite. By definition, a parasite-slash-host relationship is one in which the parasite benefits and the host suffers. If the blood feeder is actually benefiting the host, then this is a mutualistic relationship, such as the mutualistic zoosanthelid dinoflagellates that live inside of cnidarian corals, yes, the dinoflagellates feed on their hosts, but they also provide them with the results of their photosynthesis, such that both of them are better off. If your fantasy leeches stay attached to their hosts for much of their lives, you could call them, both, symbiotic mutualists. The organism being fed on is still the host, as it is providing the feeder food and a place to live. Note that my use of these terms here is the correct biological usage, but may not be how they are used commonly, either by people in our world or your fantasy world. For example, many non-biologists use symbiosis for a relationship that is only positive to both organisms, it could be, but doesn't have to be, and that could be short-term, it is definitely not, and a person could refer to themselves as being prey for mosquitoes, this would be commonly understood, even though it is biologically incorrect. For what it's worth, I have a degree in biology and teach it in high school. You say that the sucky receives a benefit, namely, good luck, in exchange for its blood. One could therefore argue that the relationship between sucker and sucky is symbiotic rather than parasitic, hence both participants could plausibly be described as symbionts. I am assuming here that such a relationship qualifies de facto as symbiotic, regardless of whether both parties participate willfully, or are aware of the mutual benefit. Note that some sources, e.g. MW, AHD, Wodnik, e offer symbiote as an alternative form to symbiont. Note also that in a narrow technical context, the precisely correct term for a mutually beneficial biological relationship is mutualism rather than symbiosis, but in general, the two terms are often used interchangeably, as I'm doing here. To answer this question, more perspective is required. Remember that you're not writing a technical paper. You're writing fantasy. The word choice depends on what kind of picture you want to paint. So, pick the term in a way that will illuminate something about someone's point of view. 
From the Beatles' perspective, some appropriate words might be friend, meal, food, juicy, blessed, luxink, mentor, livestock, carrier, colony, home, snack, victim, george, blood supply, egg sac, and so forth. Each of these terms tells a little story on its own and should illuminate Beatles' attitude. Likewise for the perspective on the ones getting bitten. You could pick something like lumper, donor, lucker, holy, carrier, anemic, blessed, bandage gallery, itcher, bug lover, nester, bleeder, or such. You could even make up a word like blugger, evoking bug, blood, and bugger. The point is that the word should say something about whoever is using it. A character who uses blugger is clearly someone who hates people that are getting stuck by beetles. If that sucky agrees with the sucking to obtain a benefit, then donor might work. The donation might be voluntary or not, so it might need to be qualified, involuntary donor, say.